is up, Humanoid Nation? I'm here at Montreal. We just got back from watching Captain America Civil War. This is the Dom, as he likes to call himself. <laughs> or just Dom. The Dom. The Dom. <laughs> yes. Hello, everybody. Look how camera shy he is. Yes. Anyway. I am so shy. Don't look at me. No, right. I'm not really shy. All right, so we just got back He's from watching. Him. So we just got back from watching Captain America Civil War. <laughs> First thoughts about it. So, great movie. Everybody should go see it. Unbelievable special effects. And uh, if you like comedies, if you like The Simpsons, then you will like this movie. Because it is hilarious. And it's, uh, it's basically a comedy with a lot of action in it, is the way I would put it. It's the funniest Marvel movie so far out of all the Avengers movies and all that. And uh, probably the best one, in my opinion. So yeah, what did you think about it? Wow, how much did he pay you to say that? Can you tell that he's a newbie at this? <laughs> he's such a newbie. He's like, oh, it was an excellent. Like, I'll give Chud five out of Chud. Well, I wouldn't say it was perfect because like it is. The, it is a yeah. superhero movie, and let's face it, superheroes are guys who run around in tights uh, and are much. still adults. You yeah. Know? So uh, if you saw this on a daily day basis, you'd think they're crazy people. Yeah. But oh, by the way, there will be spoilers in this because that's mm -hmm. how I do in all the reviews. So yeah, you were surprised Ant-Man was in this. Yes, yes, so uh, Ant-Man... You don't really watch all the MCU Universe movies, do you? Mm, no, no, but I watch most of them. Yeah, But because uh, like, they're all connected, starting yeah. from Iron Man, but not yeah. the Fantastic Four, or the X-Men, mm -hmm. or Deadpool. Because they're but, like, there are Marvel properties, uh -huh. but the movie companies own the rights to their shit. But I'm shocked that they included Ant-Man, because uh, Ant-Man is such a random and hilarious character so how would they combine him with you know the powers of all the other guys him in his little tiny form like what can he do i thought maybe well, he's yeah, gonna be like well the in guy. the comics he is part of the justice justice what the fuck am i talking about he is part of the avengers really yeah oh okay i didn't know that yeah. but uh there you go already a bunch of new things like scarlet witch in this like wanda maximoff mm -hmm. which they never say her name scarlet witch in this because they can't say her name because that's an x-men property ah yeah Oh yeah, you didn't know that? No. Oh, okay. That's why they killed off Quicksilver in the first one. Uh -huh. The other one. The guy who runs fast. Right. Marvel's version of the Flash. Right. Because they call him Peter Maximoff, but they right. couldn't call him Quicksilver, so they had to kill him off. <laughs> but yeah. Because so they have a they different Quicksilver in the X-Men universe. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Wanda Maximoff, but we all know it's Scarlet Witch, but they call her Wanda. Mm. And the vision there... I like how they have scenes together, because, like, yeah, this is another thing you don't know. Like, mm -hmm. in the comics, they fall in love with each other. Mm -hmm. And Wanda winds up being crazy in the end. Okay. Scarlet Witch. I forget what happened. They wind up in love. Scarlet mm -hmm. Witch just goes fucking nuts mm -hmm. in the end. Mm -hmm. And goes all at ape shit. Okay. She, yeah. But you can see what her powers are, like doing teleportation shit. Right. Right. So... <laughs> he is such a newbie with this. <laughs> no, it's just you're talking like a train, so I'm just listening, my friend. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I'm a newbie at some things. I agree, I don't usually talk about superheroes because it's a very private thing, you know. But, uh, but this man, he's very public with his superhero fantasy, so, you know. So I, I just let you do all the honors, usually. Way to go, Red Shoe Diaries there. Yeah. So, but anyway, so, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, inclusion of Ant-Man, that was pretty hilarious, to be honest. Um, I think that the main problem with these kinds of movies though is like I was saying to him before is that they, uh, those heroes all have kind of specific powers and uh, sort of stories built around them very different styles so it's always crazy to see them combined like for example uh, Tony Stark and Iron Man is very he's a real guy with no new superpowers but he's just got his technology mm -hmm. uh, then you take someone like, uh, you know, some of these people with the magic powers or something like that, that's completely different. And, um, you know, and then, like, Spider-Man, for example, then that's a completely different feel to New York. And it almost yeah. feels like all the other guys don't even exist in the same New York, because it's a different New York for each of them. And yeah, right. they all kind of finally meet up. Although in different movies, when something happens, they don't call the other Avengers, even though it takes place in the same universe which I understand because mm. they can't afford all the actors yeah. unless it's a huge movie like this one because mm. you were saying this is basically like an Avengers movie it is an Avengers movie that's plain and simple this is not a Captain America there's Captain America in it a lot but it's an Avengers movie and like he was saying uh, they don't have the rights to X-Men or whatever so uh, movie rights like so they got the movie rights to Spider-Man because Sony yeah. and Marvel 
the MC Marvel films are mm -hmm. finally are working together to get Spider Man in this movie. Mm -hmm. And you can tell like just how like in this movie that you guys like yeah, you have him for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Then you we just want him gone because like we need our Spider Man. Because <laughs> like you found that funny? Like yeah. he was only in there for a couple of minutes. True. It's like yeah, it's like yeah, you can only have him for this amount of time, <laughs> and we both make money. Good, we're done. True. But yeah, like if they had X Men in the in the movie, I think it would be even more confusing because X Men, I guess because they've been separate or whatever for some time. They really feel like distinct, like it's their own little universe going on or something. So if they brought that in, it'd be like, what? Wolverine next to Spider-Man? We all love to see sense. that, but like I said, the movie rights, people yeah. like, they don't, like, Fox doesn't want to do what Sony does. They don't want to make money and help mm -hmm. work with each other. Mm -hmm. It took a long time for Sony to work with Marvel to mm -hmm. get Spider-Man in there. Right. And I'm That's just right. waiting for Fox to do that with the X-Men and everybody else, mm -hmm. Fantastic Four. True. And Deadpool. What did you think of uh, Spider-Man in this movie? Tom Holland, I don't never seen him before, but I now know who he is. He is a perfect Spider-Man. He mm -hmm. exactly looks like a teen. Yeah, and he, he actually, acts like him yeah. too. Has the same the right voice for it and everything. Yeah, exactly. And I just hated the fact that people were bitching that saying like, "Oh, he sounds so young. Mm. He sounds so young." They d do know that Spider-Man is supposed to be a teenager, right? Mm. Right. It's so like, yeah, Tobey <laughs> Maguire was no teenager. He was a college kid. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Garfield did not look like a teenager. Looked he like did. an adult. Uh, somewhat. He looked. But Tom Holland yeah. actually looks like a yeah, teenager. Yeah, true. He does look big time. Has the teenager. voice to it. But what did you think of the costume, though? It was pretty cool. It went old school style because they actually have the eyes move, which mm -hmm. I like. To be honest, uh, I don't know. When I saw the Spider Man, I, I, I thought it was CGI. And then they had some scenes where. He's taking his mask off and so on. It looked kind of weird, didn't it? And, yeah, and I'm still like, not yeah. sure if that was CGI mask or if it was an actual costume. It just looked too smooth. Well, the costume was CGI, but I think when he took off the mask, they just put on spandex. Yeah. Because it looked so off. Yeah, yeah it, it didn't look as good as the other Spider-Man from the past, to be honest, yeah. in my opinion. Because I don't know how to explain it. Like, the Spider-Man suit, it all looks seamless. Like, there's no line here that shows that you can take off the mask. Exactly. And then when he has the mask off, like, you can see shit around him. And yeah. like... Okay, this looks different now. I, I actually preferred the costume of Andrew Garfield in The Amazing Spider-Man, don't yeah. you think? I think it was much better. This one just looked, you know, maybe they, they, like, they cooperated and then, uh, and then uh, Sony was just kind of like, uh, okay, you can have Spider-Man, but the shitty version. You know, like, <laughs> we won't give you the good one or well, something. Well, Sony is making a reboot of Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. So it's oh, still yeah, it's the same true. kid. It's true. That's why they said in the end, Spider-Man will return. That's true. That's true. Like, but um, I wonder if he'll be any more Avengers movies, because they are doing the Spider-Man reboot in Avengers Part 3, Part 1. They're doing two versions of it. Mm -hmm. No, two parts. Avengers 3, mm -hmm. Part 1, and Part 2, mm -hmm. where you're going to see the Guardians of the Galaxy in there. Mm -hmm. But I just think, I don't know. Honestly, it's like they're milking that Spider-Man cow till it drops, you know, until its uh, udders are like basically being uh, pulled off and like yeah. getting gangrene basically because, um, yeah, they've made like, this is going to be the third different Spider-Man in a period of like a 10 year window, not even a 10 year window. What the hell is going on? They rebooted it a second time. It was pretty good. I liked it. It was good. I liked part. it. Yeah. People were bitching about it. I liked it. I liked At least it, it wasn't Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Because that was awful. Yeah, and now they're rebooting it again. Why? Why? Like, people don't get it that it's he was... a different Spider-Man. He was... They don't get it that he was bitten by Spider-Man, I guess. I don't know. He wasn't doing it. Yeah. Uh, Marissa Tomei is Aunt May. Does yeah. Marissa Tomei ever age? She still looks she good. She looks great. But as Aunt May... I, she doesn't I look like an Aunt May. I think, I think nowadays there's this whole trend with these superhero movies to just... Uh, change up the rules and do something completely different. Yeah, Sally Field, I can see as Aunt May. Yeah. But Marissa Tomei, she doesn't, she's like very nice. Aunt May is supposed to be kind of oblivious to everything. Mm. Marissa Tomei does not look oblivious. Yeah. But you know, at least she's hot. And yeah. that gets Tony weird. Stark coming on to Aunt May. Yeah. Come on. Did you, I just found that weird because yeah. Aunt May is supposed to be really old. Yeah. And Marissa Tomei is not old. Exactly. She's old. Yeah, she's old, but she still looks young. But I think that was they. They added that. Like I said, this movie's a comedy, basically. Yeah. So they added that for comedic relief, and uh, right. 
And it's funny because this movie was already jam-packed with jokes. They could have kept that part kind of serious, but they even made that funny. So yeah. there you go, folks. And what do you think of Ant-Man becoming Giant Man? I was surprised they actually did that. I didn't know he could do that because I haven't seen the Ant-Man movie yet. And I've well, never heard of the comic before. Co yeah, true. Well, he is like... In the comics, Ant-Man is basically the worst superhero of them all because he's mm. an Ant-Man. Mm. He talks to ants. Oh my gosh, he shrinks. But when he becomes Giant Man, he's amazing. Mm. And he does that in the cartoon shows, which is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we're always waiting for him to turn into Giant Man. Mm -hmm. And then Ant-Man comes on the movie. Paul Rudd did an excellent job. I was surprised by how they did well. Mm -hmm. And then he turns into Giant Man in this movie, and I was like, holy crap, everybody else was cheering. True. Yeah. True. But, uh, yeah, I think that was pretty funny, and it was a pretty pretty cool thing. Um, you know, it's a big twist, even yeah. as, uh, as Tony Stark himself says, you know, so <laughs> yeah. nice trick up the sleeve. Um, you know, so I didn't expect that, that's for sure. From Ant-Man to, uh, to... Giant Man? Basically, Dinosaur Man, you could yeah. say, you know. So, anyways. Yeah. I guess that about wraps it up, what do you say? Some. Yeah, I guess. Like, if you don't have anything else to say about it. I have nothing else to say. Uh, I plead the fifth at this point. Okay, so that's basically our review. Anyways, take it easy. And I'll see you guys next time when I go back to Edmonton. Take it easy. Bye. Sayonara. He is such a new.